Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to create dynamic RMD files. And so dynamic RMD files will help us in a few ways. One way is I'm gonna automate the shell of how my blogs are going to look with the tags and the categories, everything that you want in there. Um, you could put whatever YAML code you want in there, any type of headers, or make it a template, it doesn't matter. But the point is, if you have external documents that you wanna to convert to RMD files, this particular tutorial might help you in that case. So I created a blank project. So I just did file, new project, empty directory, set it up. And just to be a little bit more realistic, let's create a, let's set this up as a Hugo site. You don't have to do this. You can create any project you want and do this, but I'm, I'm gonna do it with the Hugo site just because to kind of give it a, a real aspect to it. So I have right up here is the Hugo themes. I'm gonna select uh, this theme right here, go to the home page or the download page, which should get you to a GitHub site. I'm gonna copy this um, author and repository name of this Hugo site. So again, if you haven't uh, caught up with the Hugo uh, playlist that I have, start with, start, start with uh, the first tutorial and you'll probably get a better understanding of what we're doing here. But anyways, we're gonna create a site that looks kinda of like this. We're just gonna copy this and we're gonna go back to our studio somewhere here, our studio. And I'm not gonna paste it yet. Ah, I'll paste it, just, just one moment. So I'm gonna use this particular method for creating the blog down site, Hugo site, because I've run into problems with the other methods, mostly due to the config.toml file being in different places with these new projects. So for some reason, it works best if I use this right here. So blog down, colon, colon, new site. And then in the, uh, theme, we're going to say, basically set it equal to what we just copied. Uh, I'm going to erase all those spaces though. And then let's put in some other parameters here. And I've got a little cheat sheet that I'm using. Ah, I didn't mean to hit enter. Um, parameters, sample equals true. And then empty directories equals true. And then finally to, to YAML equals true. Let's see if that works. Error. Um, oh, theme. You know, I've done this multiple times where the biggest mistake I make is I don't spell things correctly. So theme and eh, hit enter on that. So it's downloading the theme. It's doing its thing. It should probably render and show. Uh, here we go. So we have this already set up. We have an IP address. We can copy this. And don't forget, this is not the point of this tutorial, but I'm just still kind of setting you up for what we're doing. So here's our here's our nice little blog set up here. Actually, I kind of like it. Mm, that's interesting. <laughs> so click on one and you can get to the actual blog site, go back. That's what we have, right? But I want to create another post on this. So let's do that. Uh, but I'm going to do it dynamically. So first I'm going to create an R script. So file, new file, R script. Make sure everything's good. So we have an R script. And what's this R script going to do? It's basically just going to create our post. So remember, if you go to files and you go to content posts, this is these are where the posts are that you just saw. So if I go back to here, you know, all these posts, markdown syntax, if I click on it, you'd get to markdown dash syntax right up here. But anyways, that should be right here. So this RMD file, let's take a quick look at it. We want it to look something like this. Let's say we wanted to just create a basic template. Oop, what did I do? Oh, okay. So here's the syntax right here. What is this one up? Close that. Don't need it. All right. So uh, we basically need to replicate this. So there's a couple of ways to do this. And I think we're going to start off with this method. It's going to be pretty for, um, pretty laid back way to do it. Probably not the best way, but I want to show you how to do this uh, right now. So I'm going to just paste that here in my R syntax. Just as a reference, I'm going to I'm gonna uh, control shift C to comment it all out because remember, this is an R script, not an RMD file. I'm going to create an RMD file. So let's see. So basically what we want to do, I'm going to, I'm going to bring in a library called here just to help me with um, paths. You know, like if I just type in down here now, I can use here and it tells me what my, pr my current path is. And it's going to set like the here function is always going to be this path, the dynamic RMD files. So I'm, I can always start right here. And I know that I want to write something to the posts, right? So content posts, and here it is. And I'll show you how to easily get to that with here function. You just do here 
And then in quotes, you say content, because remember it starts at uh, the RMD file, dynamic RMD files, content, posts, and I think that was it, hit enter, and it, and it brings you there. So that's, that's a little shortcut for us. All right, so what we wanna do, we wanna create some sort of YAML uh, string, and that string is gonna contain all the stuff that we need, which is this right here. So let's just kind of put that in there. Now, don't forget, we can, we're can we gonna make things dynamic here in a moment. So let me give you the basic, basic version as if we're just gonna copy this exactly. In fact, that date has to be over because YAML code is very specific with white space, like very specific. Don't have a space after any of these, like it's, it's very specific. So let's just create something just to see that it works, dot, 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 or dash, 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 right? And then what? Well, we want to put a, a, a return character, right? Because if you look at number uh, one here, this row, it's got the three dashes and then a return. Ignore the comments, of course. One way to do that, let's just put everything into a paste. So paste. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say my separator after each one of these little quotes is going to be equal to a new line. So that's what that equals. So if I do that, um, we can set that YAML to equal that. So if I come down here, I can just say, uh, what is my YAML? Type it in, hit enter, and you see the dashes and no new line yet. But now let's pretend, okay, we're gonna hit enter here. We're gonna add more to this. So I'm gonna do comma, and I'm just gonna type in the word date colon space, quote, comma. So now if I do control A on line 14, or control enter, um, we get an error. <laughs> What's my error? Uh, paste, comma. Uh, I've got two commas in a row. There it is. All right, let's try it again. There we go, so YAML, YAML, and I'm just showing you kind of like what's going on here. Um, the backslash N did not work. That's interesting in itself. Oh, 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 I am so sorry. So what you wanna do is you wanna cat this out. Even though it doesn't show it, it's showing you like the, the actual string that it is, and it is that string backslash end date, but if we do cat and we type in YAML, that's where we see what it would look like to the end user, to the very end, where are we gonna put this? Now you see that it worked with the, the actual backslash n. So that's very confusing. When you're using paste, it's gonna give you the literal string just as it you type it out, which is what we want because when it finally does its thing to the next pipe, you know, pipeline activity, it'll actually be what I just showed you here with the actual, um, Enter. So now we want description. Well, we could put in a date. Let's, you know what? Let's let's automate putting in a date. So let's just say today's date. I don't know. Is there a system file for that system date? System dot date. So let's just say today is equal to system dot date. Hit enter. Now we have some sort of date there. Now if we do, if we put in the word date here, right, and then a comma, because we can continue to add to this paste. Remember that this backslash n is gonna apply to every single aspect of this, right? So this is not gonna work. So if I if I do YAML now, if I hit enter on that, uh, oh, I also, oh, so I did the date, type that in. Error, 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 error. Date, date, date. Cannot coerce type closure to vector of type character. What does that even mean? Let's do this, let's do as dot character for system date and see if that works because I'm not sure uh, looks like the same error I didn't come into this prepared comma date what's wrong with my date or today I'm an idiot it's today so let's try that let's get rid of this as character and there we go Let's try it one more time. There we go, back, and I'm just showing you again, this is not gonna work, so YAML, again, if we just type that in, it's not gonna look correct. Uh, let's do cat, and then we're gonna basically see what it looks like to the end user, and you see that date and the actual date are on two different lines. We don't want that. So what we're gonna do is within, within, within inside of this paste, we're gonna do another paste, but we'll call this one paste zero. So we want date, so we're gonna do paste zero, open parentheses, and then I'll add in the date to that, and then close parentheses, comma. So this entire line 17 is acting as if it's one entity. So it's first gonna execute date and today, and that zero means there is no separator whatsoever. There's no backslash n, there's no space, there's nothing. So just concatenate. That's all it's doing, it's concatenating that line for us. 
and that's it. So now if I do uh, command enter on that YAML and we do cat YAML, we should get the three dashes, the date, and then that's it. But we have to continue, you know, we have more than date. Let's add, I'm not gonna do the whole thing. I'm just gonna show you a couple more. Uh, let's do description. And you can imagine that's in quotes, by the way. So let's do quote, description, colon, space, don't forget space, comma. Now again, if you're gonna add the, uh, a description without a separator, like the backslash n, let's just do another paste zero. So paste zero, we want description. And what we're gonna have is, this is my descript, that's my YAML code. And then close parentheses for that paste zero, comma. And then let's just close this out. We're gonna say dot dot, or dash dash dash, comma, right? So now, YAML, boom, and that worked, no errors. Sorry about the other errors. Cat, YAML, we have a full YAML, sort of. You know, you can add to this. And imagine, just like I used the variable for, for the date, which was today, your description could be coming from another file, could be coming from somewhere else, could be dynamically created. So that's the whole point. I'm trying to dynamically create uh, YAML files. Now, the next thing we wanna do is, um, write this to a file, basically. So let's just do that, and we'll go from there. So, um, back back over here. All right, so what we wanna do is just basically do a write, a write to file function, which is just plain write, W-R-I-T. And what do I wanna write? I wanna write that YAML. Where do I want to, so that's the, the string I'm bringing in is YAML, what we just defined. And what's our file equal to? Basically, we want our file to equal somewhere in the post, right? So uh, let me just check. I don't think you can have spaces or anything in there. So we're going to do file equals, and I'm going to say paste zero again. I love this paste zero and paste. I'm going to say here. Remember, we have that here function that I showed you. Here, we want it under content, comma, posts. Was it plural or not? Let's just find out. Content post, singular, and lowercase. Okay, that's where I want it. But uh, I'm also gonna paste in the actual file name, so you can make that dynamic as well, but we're gonna call this file name, um, I'm gonna say forward slash test.rmd, and then I'll also do an append equals false. So I wanna bring, it's gonna overwrite it every time, and let's just see if this works. I think that should do the trick. Uh, I'm going to do command enter on that, rendering, it wrote it. it. The fact that it rendered it is good because I didn't tell it to, but because we're in a Hugo project right now, blog down Hugo project, it automatically rendered it. So let's go to um, that RMD file, test.rmd, boom, right here. And there we go. This is, my, uh, this is my descript. It created this YAML file. Now you can create a new one every single day, with because it has today in here. So if you run the script every day, it'll be a new day, a new um, a new file. Uh, I guess it'll just make a little bit more sense if, now don't get me wrong, as this gets more complicated, you might wanna separate out and have more variables, but after the dash, 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 we can add more content. We can say, uh, I'm gonna do another backslash and an extra one. So separator plus another backslash in just to give it some space. And then I'll say, um, I'm gonna say hashtag Head in one. So I'm going to set this template up. That's what I want, comma. Oops, I don't even want to save that. But you can save this document, of course. So let's rerun YAML. Boom, rerun the right, and it's going to overwrite. Something failed, I think. Uh, non empty title element. Let's see what it looks like. So test.rmd, what did I do wrong? Oh, there is no title element. So uh, apparently, um, you need to have a title in this YAML for this Hugo blog down to work, which makes sense because that's how it works. So, but you can see that the head in one is there. Uh, let's just add that title because it said so. And for fun, in fact, let me show you another thing. You can add the title up here, of course. You can do title equals in quotes, right? We could do that, but, and you should because this is your script for doing this. You can go actually to this markdown syntax right here in the test and you can actually add it and you'll say, Title, now this will be overwritten though, so if you don't do it in your script, it's gonna be overwritten. Test title, and when you save this, which it should already be saved because you wrote it to file already, um, that's why it's over here on the bottom right. Now when I go to test.rmd, uh, which is this, that's fine. 
I don't know if it rewrote this test.html, but remember, we're serving this site right now. If I could find it right here. Let's see if we go back to site. Test title is right here. It showed up, click on it, and here's our heading, right? Now, it doesn't mean much, but that's what I wanted to show you was how you can dynamically create these YAML files. And now remember, if this test RMD, you can delete it. I can just completely delete it. Let's uh, let's go ahead and do that. I don't need this one. So test.rmd, delete, test.html, delete, click on delete, yes, gone, right? Oh, good thing I have this script that creates automatic RMD files for me. So let's just rerun the script, boom. All of a sudden, my test.rmd is there and my test.html, which is what Hugo is going to use to build the website. So that's all there is to it. I really hope that uh, this was helpful. A little long-winded, but I think the process, you learned a little bit about paste and paste zero, how YAML files work a little bit better, how to dynamically create RMD files. Imagine most of those strings are variables that you gathered from somewhere else, the report, the actual uh, data that you're using instead of you know something else. So I appreciate you guys listening to these videos and like and share and subscribe if you wanna hear more.